Hello there, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the differences between epigeal germination and hypogeal germination of seeds. So, when it comes to seed germination, there are two main types. They are the epigeal germination and hypogeal germination. First, we will see what is epigeal germination. It is the seed germination that takes place above the ground. So, you can see in this picture, the seed germination takes place above the soil surface. Hypogeal germination, the seed germination takes place below the ground. So, you can see the seed germination takes place below the soil surface. Epigeal germination, the cotyledons emerge out of the soil. Cotyledons emerge out of the soil. In hypogeal germination, the cotyledons remain inside the soil. Epigeal germination, the growth of the hippocotyl raises the cotyledons and plumule above the soil surface. In hypogeal germination, because of the very less hippocotyl growth, the cotyledons do not emerge above the soil surface. In epigeal germination, the hippocotyl is long and the upper part is curved down to protect the plumule. In hypogeal germination, the hippocotyl is short and its upper part is not curved down. Epigeal germination, very less growth of epicotyl in Hypogeal germination, the high growth of epicotyl causes the plumule to emerge above the ground and the cotyledons to remain below the ground. Epigeal germination, the epicotyl is short. Hypogeal germination, the epicotyl is long. Epigeal germination, the cotyledons turn green and they undergo photosynthesis. In hypogeal germination, the cotyledons do not undergo photosynthesis. They are not green in color. Epigeal germination, the energy for germination comes from the cotyledons since they perform photosynthesis. In hypogeal germination, the energy for germination comes from the endosperm, the reserved food of the seed. Epigeal germination, the cotyledons are responsible for the formation of the first leaves and then they dry and fall on the ground. In hypogeal germination, the cotyledons decompose inside the soil. Epigeal germination, the examples we can see are bean, castor, cotton, tamarind, sunflower papaya. So, tamarind is one of a very common example for epigeal germination. We all have seen and when it comes to hypogeal germination, the examples are coconut, maize, wheat, rice, pea, mango. Here mango is a very common example we have seen for hypogeal germination. And in this picture, this one, this seedling shows epigeal germination and this seedling shows hypogeal germination. And this brings us to the end of this video. And thanks for watching. If you find this video interesting and useful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And share this video with your friends. 